you're having a hard time understanding how planning applications work, worry no more. We know that the planning system can seem like a total labyrinth with all its stages and steps. So we've created a simple flowchart to explain what happens when you apply for planning permission. So here we go. Once you've submitted your application, Council will decide whether it's valid or whether they need additional information from you. Once all the information they've asked for has been provided, your application will be registered. Then there's a consultation process where your neighbours and other interested parties get to comment on your application. There also might be a site visit from a council officer and then there will be the decision-making process by the committee or the officers. If this doesn't happen within the time limit, you have a right to appeal. If they say no to your planning application, you have the option of resubmitting or you can appeal. If they say yes, congratulations, then it might either be granted without any conditions or it's granted with conditions, in which case you fulfill those conditions and then you're ready to move on to the next stage of your project. And that's the planning application process from start to finish. For the best chance of getting approval for your application, you need to submit high quality drawings along with a design and access statement that makes a strong, thoroughly researched and well-presented case for your proposal. You should also have people on your side able to liaise and negotiate with council officers. If you want our help, Urbanist Architecture would love to guide you through the planning process. If you have any questions about how it works, please get in touch.